Hi there everybody, we're now on our course and playlist in the Mathematics and the Modern World. We're still in Module 1, which is the nature of mathematics, and we're going to talk, to talk about the Fibonacci numbers as was il illustrated in the Liber Abacai, or some pronounces as Liber Abaci. Anyways, um, let's just call it Liber Abacai for now. Um, Liber Abacai, again, um, some call it the Book of Calculations, but if you want to translate it liter literally, um, it is translated to be the Book of Abacus. Okay, which was a little bit misleading because it's not all about the the abacus or the book or the content was not about the the doing the calculations without an abacus, but actually it's it's a complete treatise on mathematical um mathematical and algebraic methods on problems, which is highlighting the Hindu Arabic numerals. Now this book is you know the author of this book is Fibonacci, you know Leonardo of Pisa. Uh, famously known as Fibonacci, and this is one of the first books that strongly advocates and uses this Hindu Arabic numeral system. Um, the make the using of the Hindu Arabic numerals is really part of the section in Modus Indorum, that is the method of the Indians, um, which advocates the use of the Hindu Arabic numeral system. Imagine without this Liber Abacai we will still be making use of the Roman numerals in our calculations. Now, imagine that. Okay, so that will be terrible. You know, adding Roman numerals like 67 and 57 will be a little bit, um, or 69 plus 71 or 77 will be a little bit um, confusing to do. So thank you for this book, actually. Okay, so this was first published or originally published on Libra on or, or in 1202 so it has a lot of sections um one section you makes us see the notation for fractions um you know the in the modus in dorum but in the third section of this um book fibonacci discusses a number of mathematical problems such as say the chinese remainder theorem the perfect numbers the mersenne primes which is all part of the you know number theory um, course, but also in this um, section, Fibonacci described the growth of the population of rabbits. This was the origin of the Fibonacci sequence, uh, for which um, Fibonacci is now most famous today. So this Fibonacci sequence, um, the parts of the the numbers in that Fibonacci sequence are what we call the Fibonacci numbers. Now, I will try to illustrate the Fibon the rabbits here. Some call it the Fibonacci rabbits. Um, uh, we may call it like that, but let's just call them the rabbits from Liber Abacai. Um, um, I will try to illustrate how Fibonacci um, described it to be to be for them to be reproducing and then showing off the Fibonacci sequence as a result. So um, Fibonacci discovers the growth of an idealized okay it's a very ideal it's biologically unrealistic but uh, let's just see to it on how fibonacci did this um, rabbit population assuming that um, number one we have assumptions on how fibonacci will do this number one first assumption um a newly single as a single newly born pair of rabbits one male one female are put in the field so there will always be a pair of rabbits a pair of rabbits um, being produced. So not unlike humans that we can only produce one, one, um, one baby at a time, mostly, but of course we have um, twins and triplets, but uh, most of the time we, we only produce one, right? But rabbits, let's just say that they always produce a pair of rabbits, um, one male and one female, strictly one male and one female. So let's have it, um, one should be male plus another should be female. And they will be mating at the end of this. Okay, so it's okay for for them. They will take turns in mating, but okay, let's just accept that as a reality for animals. Number two, second um, condition rabbits are able to mate at the age of one month so um the time of when they were born of course they're still babies they cannot they will not be able to mate so at the age of one month um at the end of the of that second month they can produce another pair so they will produce 
one bear. All of the pairs will produce one pair at the end of the second month. Okay, so at the end of the second month. Okay, now that's our third and number three, third condition. This will be our last condition. Um, rabbits never die, and a mating pair always produces a one pair. Okay, every every month from the second month on. So um, they never die. They always just produce and produce. They never die. Okay, and there will always be mating. Okay, let them be as rabbit as they are. Rabbits as they are. Always mating. Okay, so let's try to illustrate this um, on a table below. So there was like a puzzle of Fibonacci that Fibonacci post. Um, how many pairs will there be in one year? Okay, let's try to illustrate it. Um, I'm going to need a, a lot of space here. So again, we're going to make use of that. Um, I'm going to show the conditions first. Um, and then after that, we don't need them anymore. So we're going to have the months here. Sorry about that. Um, sorry about that. Ah, I cannot make a straight line. Okay, and then I'm going to illustrate it here. And then we're going to count the number of rabbits there on. So we're going to have the number of rabbits here. Okay. And the illustration is here. So we're going to talk about first, let's have a month one or January. Let's have it like that. Month one. So there's only, there's going to be one pair of rabbits. They're still babies. So they cannot be able to mate. I don't know how to draw rabbits, but let's just uh, pretend that I know. So let's have this uh, he heads here and then they have this big ears. So how many pairs are there? It's only one. So they're still developing. They will get to know each other. And after they get to know each other, they will mate and they will produce another pair. But uh, this is still the stage where they get to know each other. Okay. So there's no pair yet. It's still them because they will produce one pair at the end of the second month. So this is the second month for this first pair. So there's still one pair of rabbits. Now, um, on the month of March, that is the third month, these rabbits never die, right? As condition number three states. They will still be there. Okay, they will still be there. But with an addition of another pair that they have produced. So they will always produce a pair. So this is now their offspring. Okay. But take note, their offspring will mate at the end. So don't follow this when we're humans. Okay, so <laughs> March. Um, and then... They will produce one pair at the end of month and they will always mate at the start of the second month. So we have March, here comes April. Of course, they ne they never die. So these two pairs here, they will just always and continue to produce offsprings. So let's say this pair here above, they will produce another offspring here. So there will be um, another pair in this part. These are rabbits. And here, they still get to know each other, you know, as offsprings, as siblings, and as lovers. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, we forgot. One, one, we have two here. And then how many? We have three in this line during April. Now, here comes May. How many pairs are there right now? So. Um, here, they're still babies, so they get to know each other first before they mate. These parent um, rabbits, they never die, so I will still draw them up until the end of the line. Now, these rabbits, which is the first generation of rabbits, we're going to draw them. But take note, this is the end of the 
second month, which means they have already produced one pair, which we will draw here, of rabbits. Okay, so this is their baby sibling. Uh, rather, baby, their baby's offspring. So we're going to count how many pairs are there. One, two, three, four. Okay, so, oh, rather, I forgot. These will also produce. So the parent, the parent, um, a rabbits will still produce their another pair because they will continually produce right as stated in condition three they will always and continue to produce so we have now how many pairs one two three four five so there are five pairs and i think you know what will happen right after this you know okay this pair will produce let me highlight it this pair will now reproduce this will always reproduce this is a new pair. They won't reproduce. This pair will reproduce. So, what will it be? To give you one, one showcase of what will happen, um, let's have it to June. Now, in June, what will happen? These, um, I think this is the third generation of rabbits. They will reproduce now because that's the, it's the end of the um, second month. So, they will reproduce. I will just write it here. I'll try to fit it. This is the parent, um, the parent uh, rabbit. So they they will always be there, no matter what. But take note, they should have produced some another pair. So I will just write it here. I'll just make it very small because they're the baby generation, and for the sake that they won't fit. Um, this one is the one that was produced before that month. So I'll just write it write them down here. This one will continue to produce, so I'll try to fit it in this part. Let's make it small, okay? Or down below here. And of course, I will draw them as they are. The first generation of rabbits. And this one here will just, you know, get to know. By condition 2, they cannot produce yet because it will be at the, at the end of the second month. So, how many rabbits are there now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight pairs. And I think you will know where we're going from here. Okay. So how many rabbits will be there on July? So I can now um, cover the the con condition since we somehow know that already. Now, what will happen in July? What if we have a July? And right this time, I will just... Um, have a pair maybe i can draw it as a single head right now okay now in july this pair will produce another one so i'll just i'll just write i'll just draw here if it's red so it's a pair of rabbits it will produce an, a pair here this is the new pair here this uh, new pair will will still get to know each other so I'll just, I, it cannot reproduce. This will always reproduce, right? So I will draw it right here. Okay, their new reproduced, um, their new offspring. Of course, I will draw them as they are. This one, the new reproduce a step before. I will draw them once. This one right here, right now. Is been here for two months, so they can now reproduce. So I will draw the new produced rabbit here, and of course they themselves must be also written there. This one is the reproduction of this um, batch here, so I will just draw it. Sorry for my bad um, <laughs> drawing. This one, this original pair, can reproduce again they they will continue to reproduce so i'll draw the reproduction here or i mean the 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 offspring here this one notice that it's the end of their second month so they can out as well reproduce okay and then i will copy them of course now how many reproductions are being made in this month so these can reproduce this pair can reproduce this pair can reproduce uh, this pair can reproduce this can reproduce and this can reproduce again i want to emphasize that this one is equivalent to one pair so i want to emphasize that as a legend 
so that you won't get lost. Okay. Now, how many? How many are there? How many pairs? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 pairs all in all. Okay? So anything familiar? 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. This is, everybody, the Fibonacci sequence. The next part here will be what? 20, what? 21, right? So that will be 8 plus 13. So that will be 21. Next one will be what? 34, correct? Next one will be 55. And I cannot draw 55 rabbits here even if I, I try to make use of the of the red ink. So the next part will be 21. Why will it be 21? Um, if I can, if I may add, if I may draw them um as dots or as excess right now to illustrate the 21 rabbits so this pair will continue to reproduce i'll write it as x i will draw them themselves this is the new spring uh the the previous one so it cannot it cannot reproduce yet this one has finished the second month so it can reproduce i'll draw it also um this one here is a new offspring um, it cannot still reproduce, but the original parent can reproduce. So I will put an X here. This second one will be the, this big one will be the original parent. Now this one is end, at the end of its second month. So it can, it can now reproduce. I'll put X here and I'll put the pair for, for this one. This one is a new offspring. I'll just write it down. This one is an old offspring. It can reproduce. So I'll put X here and I'll put them as the original pair this one is, the, is at the end of the second um month so it can now reproduce and i will write them as well um this one will also reproduce by condition three it will continue to reproduce this um one here is a new rep uh, it's a new product so i'll just write it down um this one is also a new product i'll just write it down this one is going to continue to produce i'm going to write it down as x and of course um, it themselves and we will need to count the excess it should be 21 if it's not 21 so there's something that we are missing so let's try to count it down count them up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And indeed, we are correct with the progression. And you know what will happen in the next few months. Okay, so anyways, this is already uh, July. This will be August. Okay, so how many pairs will there be in one year? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In one year, there will be, we add the, we add this, this is 89. So this is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. And then we add 55 and 89 to get, to get the next pair. So what would be the sum? Anyone? So 55 plus 89 would give us 144. That's going to be on December. And then for the for the for the um, flip of or for for the next year for the fold of next year, we need to add one four four and eighty nine, which will give us two three three. So after a year, there will be two three three rabbits or two hundred thirty three rabbits, all in all, okay, answering Fibonacci's um, puzzle. Okay, and I cannot imagine fitting 233 rabbits here. So um, as far as this video is concerned, um, I think that was very clear on how Fibonacci used the rabbits to illustrate his Fibonacci sequence. And you can see the illustration from here. Um, hopefully the illustration is quite clear, even though the, the, the drawing is not. I'm sorry for that. Uh, but hopefully the illustration is clear though. Okay. So um, that's it for this video. Hope you understand that or understood that on how Fibonacci used the rabbits in in um, in illustrating his number his Fibonacci sequence. And this was the original the origin of the Fibonacci sequence, mind you.
Okay? So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you would like and subscribe. And um, please share this to your classmates also. Okay? So, see ya!